morning, good morning, good morning. God is good all the time and all the time. God is good. This is Vern Bryant, pastor of Hocasting United Methodist Church, and I'd like to welcome you to another episode of This Is The Day, and I hope that you're having a wonderful day and hope that God is just blessing you beyond measure. And I'm glad that you're able to join me today. Let's pray. Gracious Lord, we thank you for this time together. We ask that you would bless our time together and bless those who are listening on today. To Christ the Lord, we ask and pray. Amen. You know, from the book of Luke uh, 19, 28 to 40, uh, we read about Jesus's triumphant entry into Jerusalem. And you know, this week, we will celebrate uh, Palm Sunday. Can you believe it? Palm Sunday already. But um, as we celebrate Palm Sunday, I think a lot of times people lose sight of what that means or they don't have a clear understanding of Palm Sunday. You know, it's funny. Uh, when I was in seminary, um, I had a professor who would say every once in a while, uh, you know, I have some good news and I have some bad news. And what do you want first? Do you want the good news or do you want the bad news? You know, we have all heard that that saying. And uh, according to him, the bad news was an assignment uh, that he decided to cancel. And the good news was that we would finish his class minus one uh, writing assignment. And that kind of sums up, you know, most of society uh, today. We love to focus on the bad news. The bad news, whether things happen or things are about to happen, we love to focus on the bad news. You know, uh, so much so to whereas it leads to many ailments in the life of a person because all we do is focus on the bad news. Bad news sells. You know, the media loves bad news because that's what sells. It sells newspapers and it sells magazines. But uh, when you think of Palm Sunday and its implications, Palm Sunday is about Christ, of course, triumphant entry into Jerusalem. And it's about victory. And because Christ ha has the victory, we have the victory as well. I mean, in our lives daily, we have the victory. Why? Because Christ won the victory for us on uh, the cross. You know, uh, when bad news start to encroach into our personal space, it leaves sorrow and sickness and pain. And we feel that we're trapped and we feel that we're hopeless. And we think there is no way out of escaping it. And then there's the good news, the glimmer of hope, that little ray of sunshine. And although it's truly a delight to hear, the impact is not the same. Good news does not sell, but Jesus brings good news. And the good news that Jesus is bring is that he offers light, he offers hope, he also offers peace, he offers joy, he gives us strength, no matter what we may be dealing with or facing or going through in life, Jesus gives us strength. And so Palm Sunday is about Jesus' triumphant ride into Jerusalem. And the crowd was cheering, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. And because Jesus had the victory, eventually we know that um, Palm Sunday kicks off the events that leads up to the crucifixion. But Jesus was crucified, but then he rose again. And because Jesus had the victory from Palm Sunday leading up to the resurrection, we have the victory in our lives. You know, I say it all the time. 
I said on Sunday, God didn't just plop us here and it's like, okay, you fend for yourselves and, and I see you at the judgment. No, he gives us strength. He gives us the Holy Spirit. He gives us joy. He gives us peace. He gives us other believers who are play an integral part in our lives. Jesus is there to help us. The Holy Spirit guides us and leads us into all truth. So this week, well, this will lead, this Sunday leads up to Palm Sunday. And what are you grateful for? Are you going to stew in your problems? Or are you going to be grateful for the fact that you do have the victory in Christ? We have the victory in Christ. We don't have to worry. We don't have to be troubled. We don't have to lose hope. Jesus loves us and cares for us. And he loves us so much that he walks with us on the journey. He loves us so much that he went to a cross and died for the sins, our sins, the sins of the world. So, as we go forward this week and prepare for Palm Sunday, remember that Palm Sunday is more than just getting a strip of palm from church. You know, and some folks, they got to have their palm. You know, but Palm Sunday is about the fact that Jesus rode into Jerusalem knowing that he would eventually die. But he faced it. And he had the victory. And because Jesus faced it, you can face your problems. And you can have the victories. Problems don't come to stay, friend. They come to pass. And because of Christ, you definitely can make it. Amen. Let's pray. Gracious Lord, we thank you for this time together, and we ask that you would bless our time together now. We pray, Lord, for those, Lord, who may be struggling and feel as if they're all alone and that they don't have the victory. Let them know that they have the victory in you. So continue to guide us this day and continue, Lord, to grant us your grace and your strength as we continue to celebrate life. Because, Lord, it's all about you and what you're doing in us. All this we ask in the precious and wonderful name, Jesus Christ, our Savior and our Lord. Amen. Hey, dear friends, I enjoyed being with you this morning. And I pray that you have a great rest of the week. Know that I love you, but God loves you most of all. And remember, you have the victory in Christ. Amen. Until next time, this is Pastor Vernon Bryant saying you be blessed, stay safe, and stay strong. God bless. Bye-bye.